historic event, symbols that capture the energy, emotion, and drama of America's aeronautics and space program have been the essence of 26 years of art, generated by artists who have had an opportunity to experience these events firsthand. NASA's art program continued this tradition recently by commissioning a musician for the first time along with several other artists. Their assignment, document the return to flight of the space shuttle. Artists sketched, photographed, and even sampled sounds during the launch and landing of shuttle Discovery collecting ideas for what later became detailed brushstrokes for illustrator Wendell Miner, dyed fabric for Angela Mano, or a montage of airbrushed impressions for Michael Kanegan. In all, six artists, steeped in various traditions, took in the shuttle experience and created images that depict America's return to space. The seventh artist, Jane Ira Bloom, captured her impressions in music. Jane is a New York-based soprano saxophonist and composer, and has been a space enthusiast for many years. She enjoys writing music about events that visually inspire and challenge her. How could I, I communicate the feeling without pointing to it? Without actually saying, here's what a launch sounds like. How can I make people feel what you feel like when you hear, hear it? As part of the process, Jane spent time rehearsing ideas with fellow artists in New York. Early on, Jane realized that she didn't want to approach the music as a pure synthesizer score. Instead, she found other forms of expression. I think it's a greater challenge to find new sounds and to find even new, new uses of uh, live electronics impelled by the players, impelled by the people. Uh, because I started to see when, they, when the musicians got involved in experimenting with this Doppler-like spinning idea, suddenly the music took on a life of its own because the musicians embraced it and uh, made it come alive. And uh, in jazz we say the, the, you know, the bandstand starts to rise. Jane spent hours writing in her studio, preparing for a live concert at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, Florida. It was performed exactly one year after the space shuttle's return to flight, and included the traditional unveiling of art from the program. It was an evening of sights and sounds, one in which art and technology combined to express an appreciation for America's return to space.